guys, welcome to another video on my channel today. Today we're going to be looking at the 488 GT3 on the PS4 version of Assetto Corsa, driving it around Spa. So the setup is basically just a very quick base setup that I put together. Um, we've not gone massively in depth yet. What I would rather do is I'm going to, I've done some testing of the base setup out online. But again, as usual with my setups now, I want to try and get these as good as I can. So what I do is I'm going to do the base setup for you guys again, which is this setup now. And then we're going to go into online lobbies and tweak them around the online lobbies because obviously with the different conditions you're going to come across some of the setups are going to need slightly tweaking um, this setup actually holds up really well in an online race which i've put together after the setup we've included in the video just some four laps for you guys it was in a 98 percent um track grip lobby and um it drove really well it it should 100% if we get to a lobby when we're testing this out where it's 100% grip and we may maybe make a few changes set up just tweaking it slightly I'm, I'm really sure we can get this car into a 2 minute 16 maybe a two it would be a very late 2 minute 16 or a very early 2 minute 17 but it, it definitely will have the capability to do 2 minute 16 if you can just tweak it the setup slightly and just nail a lap within a good lobby where the grip's high etc but um for this hot lap obviously um i think the lap was an okay lap i uh, didn't spend too long on it again um wanted to just get a lap together and then we were testing it out again like we've been doing with a lot of the other setups so it's about 40 50 laps of just testing it out and then we went into hot lap did the lap and then what i've done i've done a couple of races online just to double check that it actually performs the same as it does in hot lap and obviously you know you, you want to make sure these setups some setups might not work in an online lobby and i want to make sure all my setups are driving really well in an online lobby i think you've all seen that i mean like the ferrari red bull setup we did yesterday the two laps were from an online lobby you know that car has got the potential to hit a very a very fast time around that track if we hot lap it but I want to try and concentrate on really getting these setups working online so we're going to start our hot lap anyway and just quickly go through a little track guide with this car and um, we actually had the traction control off for this setup on um, spa i don't really feel like it needs to be on it probably might it might be perfect drive we on the weekly set but i think we just pretty much drove it all the time off so we're breaking pretty much on the 100 yard ball going down into second gear trying to clip the curb on the right hand side staying in second gear hard on the power then we're going to come through to a rouge now this is taken flat out again in the 488 gt3 same as the 650s etc it handles very similar to 650s here so we're flat out going in sixth gear and we've obviously got our gear and set quite high again because Spa is a very fast track. Um, downforce I think was 0.5 still. We didn't um, go any lower because it just unstabilised the rear slightly. Looking again to brake just before the kerb on the left going down into third gear, trying to skim that kerb on the right. See how we just skim it and then trying to hold as much speed through these corners as you can. Then flick it back over to the right now and then on the power as early as you can. Just be careful not to put the power on too early there, you might run wide. Going into fourth gear, then just on the kerb, back down to second gear, nice and tight in on this apex. I like to stay tight in on the right hand side. And then once you feel that car rotate and get on the power, flat out into fourth gear, then back down to third gear very quickly as we chuck it into the left hander and use some of the kerb on the right that's what it's there for get a better exit out of that corner and then we're going to look to break down into fourth gear for this long left hander and you want to try and skim that kerb see how we perfectly skim that kerb there and then on the power nice and early into fifth gear use the torque this car has and then briefly into sixth gear before we're going to break just before the bridge there going down into third gear make sure you break nice and early to that corner you're going to get a better if you get a better line through these corners now you're going to gain a lot of time on the power as early as you can use a little bit of the kerb on the right then throwing it back into this right hander now in third gear be very patient on the throttle there you don't want to put it on too early we just about got that right and then into fourth gear we ran a little bit wider this is where we lost a bit of time on that kerb you're going to start losing a tempo or two because we had to slightly it didn't really show up on the thing but we didn't get the angle perfectly um perfectly done i mean i think if you get that perfect you gain about two temps now on this straight so there was at least two temps to come off just from that corner um looking out again for the braking zone just past that board there on the left going down into second gear then first gear for the apex clipping it on the power then slowly feed the power through in second gear no traction control so i just put it in second gear dull the revs a bit and then flat out now over line for a two minutes 17 so the lap wasn't perfect there was definitely in a hot lapping situation at least a two minutes 14 13 
and maybe a 16 like I said if we really nail it setups on the screen now what we did we just tried to get this as drivable as we can for a base setup so you can see there we had the issue we actually had the brake bias on 70 although you can move that down to 69.5 when you are actually racing it does drive really nicely like that aerodynamics very similar to Red Bull Ring 05 gearing different though as you can see there we actually went higher on the gearing and it needs a little bit of altering from what we had previously and um, differential we run a higher on the different de deceleration to 70% really helps out with the braking um, tire pressure's up to 27% for um, Spa, obviously the, the builds the heat up a lot more on this track and the toe angles have been adjusted as well. Um, looking at the ride height, it was very similar again to what we ran at um, Red Bull Ring, that's where we pretty much learnt the ride height through doing the Spa setup. Um, running slightly lower on the rear again to give us more grip through them corners. And then the bump stop, 4-4 four, 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 four on the front, feels reasonably nice. Might consider upping them after what I've learnt recently, going maybe to 7-7 seven, seven and 8-8 eight, eight might work really well. So, there's a setup for you guys. What I'm going to do now is we're going to go into an online race and just test out how it drives. You can see now, this track was running 98% grip at the start and you can see it's cloudy, it's not, it's not got much heat in the track. So, your lap times are probably going to be a little bit lower than what they were in perfect conditions. So... You can see we got away from the start re reasonably nicely. There's a little bit of chaos in the background, as usual on Spa. You're always going to get that. And even with the cold tyres, what I found is you can really, you seem to be able to do a really nice first lap with this car, especially on the Red Bull Ring as well. It's got a lot of grip with the cold tyres. You can see there we could have gone through even close to being flat out through that corner. And we've got a nice buffer already to the guy behind. So what I want to see from this setup, basically, when I'm testing it out, is um, consistency keeping the lap times within half a second or so um, don't want to we don't want to see laps going like drastically or making big mistakes we want to see it drivable and um, this wasn't probably the best conditions to test the setup out in terms of grip and lap time um, but I think we managed a reasonable lap considering the conditions etc and um, I think when, when we do get into a lobby with like I say the 100% grip we could be in for some very fast lap times with this car like I say, especially in the race when the, the track rubbers in even more through the race when you've got a full lobby. Um, I, I'm, I'm really sure that if we really get a lap together, we'll be able to hit a late 2 minutes 16 or 2 minutes 17.0. Um, but as you can see on this first lap, we've built quite a comfortable margin already to the guys behind. We've got a nice lead over them. Um, we're basically pulling away at a reasonable rate. We're not really pushing the car too hard. You know, this is... When, when there's no one in the lobby that I feel is really going to cause me much trouble, there's just no point pushing to the point where you're going to be risking a mistake. You know, if you're in a race with some really fast guys, like some of the, some of the people who, who subscribe to my channel, they're really fast. If they're in the lobby, you've got to start pushing that car closer to the boundaries of where you're going to start making the odd mistake if you push too hard. But when we're in a lobby like this now, there's no real need to, um, there's just no real need to push too hard. Um, you can see there, I think we just slightly up, we put the traction control to 12 there just to test out. We were testing it out a lot still at this phase. And then um, with obviously the lower grip, that's when we put it on. But then I realised I think it's just going to be better with it off. We turned it off completely there. We're putting it back onto 12 for this turn one now because I was trying to test out if putting it to the traction control 12 would actually give me a nice pull out the bend. But I soon worked out that it isn't necessarily the case. So back off again there because through a route you always want the traction control off never have that in my view i would never have the traction control on through a route it's only going to slow you down there's no need to have it on anyway it doesn't do anything for stability through this corner because the car's pushing hard it's got a lot of downforce natural downforce through the um, aerodynamics so you won't need to be running traction control on through a route yeah. it's only going to bog the car down anyway you can see now we're obviously up on our we we look we're already heading there looking at the delta we're heading for an eight a one a two minutes 18 lap on our first lap so the car's clearly got the consistency so far we made a little we pushed a little bit hard there where the grip wasn't quite there um obviously that's a, the only issue you need to be prepared for in these lower grips and conditions is spars a long track a lot of corners and that right front tire as well you need to be careful of that sometimes it's not fully up to temperature especially when you're in track, track conditions like this where it's cloudy and the temperatures are low 
because when it's like that you need to be careful that right front sometimes you don't have the heat in for this long right this long left hander now and it can understeer the car slightly so just always be careful always pay attention to your um, tire temperatures that is what i run on all the time i don't have the other stuff on sometimes i will have the track map on if i'm in a very close battle and know the tires are in a good condition etc and they're not going to really be overheating but if you're running out on your own like this now um, just keep them tire pressures there <clears throat> just it just keeps you aware of any issues sometimes you might build up a bit of heat in the rear when you've slightly maybe you've gone in a bit hard and the back slid a bit and you, you know not you might not have known that like before this was added to the ps4 you wouldn't have known that that right rear would have was starting to overheat but now you keep an eye on it make sure it's not and if you see it going up a bit you can just think well maybe we'll hit that traction control onto the weakest set just while it's a little bit hot just just call that tire down and then once it's back into a temperature range turn it back off that's just the safest thing to do when you're racing in a you know lobby where you're not being pushed hard and you just want to get a nice easy win so we're over the line for lap one on an 18.472 not amazingly fast lap but it's not slow by any means so what the aim now is to do is to try and improve on that lap a little bit more. We've got the base lap in there. We know that the setup's working online now. Um, I think this was actually my first. Or I think this was my first attempt at an online race with this car after I'd set it up. So I wasn't 100% sure how it would react online. You know, sometimes you can do a setup and it won't. It won't always be as good as it will in a hot lap and situation. But this is why I'm trying to make sure I, set, I test all my setups out in an online situation or in a in a free practice session simulating online sessions that's what i find you do need to do you know just throwing a hot lap together with no other footage from you know an online race or anything to do or test now an online race it's, it's not really the best thing to do you want to know that the tires are going to stay in the right temperature you want to know that the car's got the grip throughout the race you, you know different things especially when the lower track grips you want to know that this the car's going to react well around the, the track in a, every situation especially for when we get the private lobbies you know we're going to be looking at races where they're 40 laps 50 laps and pit stops are needed so we want a setup that can keep the tires well keep them in a nice range and make them last and that's something i'm really looking forward to i'm very tempted to start doing some once these private lobbies are here i probably will start doing some uh, league racing on the ps4 or on one of the leagues don't know which one yet but I'll, I'll consider going into some there's a lot of fast races on a set of course set and i think it would bring some absolutely amazing racing to my youtube channel because there's a lot of people that are interested in league racing on this game and there's a lot of people that are <coughs> about the same very similar speed to myself and i think it's going to give some extremely good um, videos especially with the servers on a set of course so they're quite stable servers if you're getting a good lobby obviously with a low ping and obviously there will be a lot if we're doing a private if it's going to be a private lobby you can have the best host possible with the lowest ping etc and it's going to give some amazing footage so anyway you can see there on the lap now we're not really pushing too hard but we've got a cleaner exit from than the previous lap and we're going to go over the line for i think it's going to be about 18.2 on the second lap so again it's driving nicely it's got the consistency and then this lap now what we're going to do is again is push it a little bit harder and just see what happens now when we push it just a tiny bit harder um, I think this lap should have really have been that we're on now into the 17s comfortably and considering the grip wasn't at the most at like 100% grip then I'm, I'm quite looking forward to seeing what it will do when we've got 100% grip so just going through to the first section you see we're slightly up already um, just under half attempt just over half attempt sorry um, start feeling that we can break a little bit later now carry a little bit more speed through this corner see we can really throw it through this corner this right hand is where you can gain a lot of time if you get it right you can see there we actually hit that perfect onto the apex really nice and on the power into fourth get early and look at the delta now going back up into the green that's what we want to see is when when you get that corner right you can really start pushing on so we're running our lap you can see now from the previous lap we're pretty much dead on the same lap and that's something i really want to see in me in testing these setups so i want to see that the deltas are like identical pretty much and only increasing lap by lap a very small amount you know i don't want to be um doing one lap on an 18.9 next lap a 17.8 and then another lap of 19 you want you want the consistency and that's what these setups are about is getting them nice and consistent and drivable and i know there's a lot of people that are looking we're looking forward to this setup they're um waiting for it quite a bit i've seen a lot of comments saying you know they want this for, for spa the 480 gt3 so i'm glad i 
I can say this setup you should do you well it's drivable it's it's safe you know I'm running no traction control here so if you want to put traction control on to uh, level 12 11 it's gonna be even safer to drive um, you could probably one thing I'd consider doing is if, if you if you find it really um, safe with and you but you want the traction control on say level 9 or 10 you may be able to up the differential and the acceleration slightly and it will still be safe but it will just give you a little bit more pull out the corners so you can see now we had a really nice point here we were at on clearly we were four, four attempts up on that lap but we got a bit of twitch oversteer as we come out of that corner and it just knocked us down to a 2 minutes 18 so we were actually on to match basically our lap from the hot lapping phase so anyway guys, I hope this setup helps you out, I hope it gets you more consistent. Make sure you click that like button if you've liked the video and make sure you subscribe for more videos in the future. Thanks again.